Hello, my name is Periqua and welcome to the Truly Woman series. And today's question is, sometimes I go shopping and I buy things I don't need and then I get home and I regret it. But I don't know how to stop. So what's important about when you go shopping is actually really looking inside to see what you're actually shopping for first and then where you're actually shopping from inside yourself. In other words, are you shopping because you're feeling really emotional? Maybe you're feeling really premenstrual? Maybe you've just fallen out of love? Um, maybe you're, you're not feeling quite yourself and so you're trying to get a fix or like chocolate, you know, like a shopping hit in order to make yourself feel better. And inevitably, you won't come out of that shopping feeling better. And that's often the time when you buy things that you don't need. So what's important is that before you go anywhere, that you just take some time to breathe inside yourself. And I would suggest the deepest place to connect down to is just put your hand on your womb, maybe put your hand on your heart, and just start to feel your own energy and feel your breath. You might be sitting in your car, for example, you might be on the bus, but you're on your way to shopping, but you're checking inside to see how you're feeling. That's the first and most important thing. Then looking into what are you actually shopping for. Sometimes you know exactly what you're shopping for and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just stumble upon something and it says yes. Now what's important about shopping is listening to that quiet, quiet voice that knows everything. So in the moment, it knows whether it's a yes inside or a no. If it's a maybe, a maybe is a great time to walk away from whatever it is you're about to purchase and you're not really sure, then that's a good time to just walk away, sit down, have a drink, go outside of the building, and then come back again. Is it a yes or is it a no? And, and being clear enough to actually follow that voice amidst all of the levels of advertising and confusing music, vibration of people's voices, and of course the intention of the shopkeeper that wants to sell. If we understand that we are receptive beings, then whatever energy I project at you, you feel. Whatever energy you project at me, I feel. Now if I'm feeling quite weak or I'm feeling quite emotional and you say, you need this, then I may fall prey to your intention. So that's why it's so important to take time to feel inside yourself and if you feel confused then to actually walk away from the situation. Come back inside, feel down into your womb, feel into your heart, connect again with your breath and then look from there. So this is a way to resolve unconscious shopping. Look for the yes inside. If there's something inside and it opens up your heart, it opens up this feeling of love, this feeling of rightness inside, then that's the yes you're looking for when you're shopping. If it says no, but your mind says, oh yeah, but I need it, I need it, I need it, then listen to your body, not your mind. It will trick you almost every time. Your body knows more than your mind knows. The body has a greater understanding. So listen more to your body's knowing, even amidst the chaos and all the intentions and the energies that are in the shopping world. Everybody wants you to buy. But what's most important is that you buy for your love. You buy for your own sense of self-nurturing. You buy because there's a big yes. And this will help you to combat the pattern of just buying things that you don't need to get a fix. Thank you.